Dorian Yates, a name that resonates with power, discipline, and legacy in the bodybuilding world. Before he became a six-time Mr. Olympia winner, Dorian was just a young man from England with a dream. Little did the world know that he would revolutionize bodybuilding. I remember Dorian Yates used to be in the seminars in the back of the room. And I, I would say stuff like, I want the judges to drop their pencils when I walk out. Dorian picked up on that. He certainly did that. Between 1992 and 1997, Dorian dominated the bodybuilding scene, earning the title of Mr. Olympia six consecutive times. Known for his unmatched thickness and grainy muscle density, Dorian introduced a new era of mass monsters. I was known as a mass monster, one of the first mass monsters, yeah. because of the muscle mass mm -hmm. I carried. But I always competed below what I potentially could do because I wanted to be super shredded. I just didn't want to be big and okay. Say I that wanted, one more time, you always competed below? Below my potential size because I wanted to be absolutely shredded. I wanted to be, you know, dry and shredded as, as well as big, not just big. So I probably always overdid things. I never underdid things, always overdid things. His physique was a testament to his unique and groundbreaking training methodology. But what sets Dorian apart from other legendary bodybuilders, thanks to a training methodology called High Intensity Training Method. But what is HIT, and how did Mike Menzer influence Dorian's embrace of it? Mike Menzer's High Intensity Training is a weight training methodology that emphasizes the importance of brief, intense, and infrequent workout sessions. His writings and teachings stress the need for muscle recovery and how short, intense workouts could offer better results than longer, more frequent sessions. Dorian took these principles and made them his own, pushing his body to unparalleled limits. In uh, professional bodybuilding circles, when I was competing, I was known as the game changer. Um, that was because I brought a new level of uh, muscularity, uh, size and condition to professional bodybuilding and I did that by training average 45 minutes four times a week where many of my competitors were training two or three hours a day uh, around uh, six days a week so I proved that this method is more efficient you get better results in a shorter period of time and um, I believe I got the most out of my potential where maybe some of my other competitors didn't because they were spending too long in the gym and uh, not following the principles of high intensity training. Each of Dorian's workouts encapsulated the hit spirit. One to two exercises per muscle group with a single set pushed beyond its limits. Dorian followed a four day split. Here's a breakdown of his hit routine. Day one, delts, triceps, abs. Day two, back. Day three, chest, biceps, abs. Day four, quads, hamstrings, calves. With each set, Dorian pushed himself to absolute muscle failure, often incorporating forced reps and negatives with the help of a training partner. Beyond the exercises, it was Dorian's form and technique that set him apart. Controlled, precise movements, with an emphasis on the negative phase of the rep. Well, as far as the, the negative goes, in order to get a reaction from your body, you've got to overload it. You've got to give it something it's not used to in order for it to react. And um, a lot of people um, concentrate very much, let's say, on the, on the positive. You know, a bench press will be pushing. That will be the positive. And then bringing the weight down, that's the negative part of the rep. But a lot of people don't concentrate on that. They concentrate, OK, I've got the weight up, and I kind of bring it down. You want to be able to fail on the negative as well. So slowing the negative down and occasionally at the end of the set doing some extra negatives is the way to do that. So that you're failing on all levels, positive, static and negative. That's ideal. That's an ideal set. And because it's so intense, that's why I don't recommend doing a lot of sets. Just one set most of the time at, on the final set of an exercise is all you need when you're going to failure. Dorian often spoke about the importance of the mind-muscle connection stating that feeling the muscle work was more important than the weight lifted. You need to use heavy weights, they need to be progressive, um, but within the boundaries of doing the exercises properly, controlling the weight, controlling the negative, moving for a full range of motion, 
and keeping the time under tension uh, to a certain point, so a certain amount of repetitions or time that you're under tension. Having a trusted training partner was crucial for Dorian. They assisted with forced reps, pushing him past failure and ensuring safety. The legacy of Dorian's training style is evident today. His principles are revered and practiced by many of today's champions. After retirement, Dorian spread his knowledge through seminars, interviews, and his very own temple gym. Dorian Yates, a testament to what can be achieved when intensity meets intelligence. Thank you for joining this deep dive into the training legacy of Dorian Yates. Like, share, and subscribe for more.